All right, going into this game one of uh, winners finals here. Yep. A little out of order, but it'll work. Nero immediately Pikachu conversion. Didn't really get as much off of that as I expect. Okay. Okay. I, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was scary like that, Doug. <laughs> okay, Nero's ledge trap. Like, God, this guy's so good. How esports is your stream, JP? Uh, I mean, kind of esports. We'll go with kind of. Okay, kind of. Like we can use some language. Not we'll, all. We'll go with the F so bomb Nero's gonna. We'll just kind of go there. Nero, Nero's gonna <laughs> zero to right death there. him. Uh, that was a little uh, unlucky. Cleanly. I mean, this is really bad. The, the stock ended because he be messed honest. up. The stock ended because he, you know, had the big side B. I've seen me do that a lot, actually. That happens to him more than I see any other Falcon happen to them. But Meek, I mean, this matchup is known for being pretty tough. Meek, uh, we're really seeing that struggle right now. <laughs> this is the truth. Having a really hard time um, getting any pressure, any startups on Pikachu. It's you know everybody knows you know Pikachu's a little guy, Falcon's a big guy. Falcon big guy has trouble hitting little guys. That's why he kind of has a rough time with Kirby and kind of a rough time with Pikachu. Pikachu's speed, his combo game also you know really hurts it. Yeah, also the fact that um, I would say overall the game potential of Pikachu is, oh, so is pretty. Much. Pretty Vita's good potential is great, and Falcon's get get potential is great. So mm, you know you put uh, them together. His up beat doesn't snap, so it's pretty easy to kind of down tilt away. Very. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm surprised they actually went for. Uh, okay, nice good time. check by me. Yeah, Definitely. that was nice. Like, uh, I'm surprised they let him go to Smashville. To be honest, because this is one of Pikachu's best stages. Is it really? What yeah, would you? Because, uh, where would you think they would strike to? You know, in all honesty, it, like I wouldn't want. I, I'm trying to feel uh, like maybe like a battlefield or something like that. Nice tag. Yeah, Just he because caught him. He can can he make it back from this? He can. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, Pikachu can kind of do the quick attack cancels on the ledges, that takes a lot more tech skill than just quick attacking on the, sta on the, the moving platform and get away for free. Twice now, he's pretty yeah. much had the kill on Meek, but he just grabbed him with the up B on the way up and hit it back to the ledge. <laughs> I mean, this game is looking rough. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell you some gym commentary. He can bring it back. Anything's possible. I mean, I guess so. But I mean, you're look, look at this. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, Meek's got. Meek has my favorite uh, bring back a set ever with. Um, him being down against Psycho at the Arcadian, getting grabbed by the blue Pikmin at like 140 with one stock. That picture's really funny. He lives and wins the set. He brings it all the way back a couple of games. But, I mean, even still, we know Meek has all that potential, obviously, is the reason he's ranked in such yeah, and such and such. Now, but so. Technically the best Falcon now in Michigan, right? I mean, not even technically. He just he is. Yeah, right? uh, yeah. Well, Seth doesn't, doesn't play really. I mean, I mean, uh, Seth did, um... Seth entered uh, Tempest, and he did he did well. Mm -hmm. he, he plays to, like, I believe, fifth, correct me if I'm wrong. So, I mean, I don't know. I haven't played Seth in a long time. But Meek is very solid. That up to a down B. He'll do it. Too powerful. Clean. Very clean game from Nero. Very, very clean game from Nero. Yeah, but, I mean, that, that kind of shows the uh, potence of that matchup. Pikachu definitely uh, wins that matchup. Meek has a lot to rethink there. I mean, mm -hmm. that game, he... Had a lot of problems in neutral, a lot of problems in recovery in the ledge, a lot of problems in conversions. He didn't really excel in any of the three areas you can excel in. And, I mean, that's why that game wrapped up so cleanly for Nero. Meek, um, if he can adjust even one of those with the power of Falcon, hopefully he can make a lot closer game, maybe take one for himself. But uh, if he can't figure out what was going wrong and make that adjustment, not going to get anywhere. Yeah. Sir Jamarth is fire, dude. <laughs> All right, right now, uh, I actually like this battle for pick. Like I said earlier, this is probably a stage I want to go through first. Yeah. Just because, I mean, yeah, quick cancel is a problem, but, you know, I'd much rather deal with, like, the hard tech that is quick attack cancel versus the easy of just quick attacking on a moving platform and getting away for free. Yeah. <clears throat> I will say, um, I noticed, as far as I'm talking about that from the neutral, Meek is now using uh, that landing nair hitbox, which will come really, really, really low and let him do those free hits. Mm -hmm. Doing better off the ledge, getting the attacks. From what I can tell, Meek has made those adjustments really, really, really smart. Um... That's what you need to do. Yeah. How would in the world do you perfect pivot without turning around in the end? I don't even know how to perfect pivot, so I can't even tell you. Apollo is a gym. Yeah. I love reading these chat guys, dude. I know all these dudes. Wow. <laughs> He's coming. Internet famous. Well. Okay. Ooh. Forward smash gonna snipe him. That's, 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 he saved his double jump, but yeah. I mean he used it. But I don't know why he used time. it there. He used it as soon as he got hit. Must have, might have been a panic option, honestly. Mm-hmm. I know I do it. A lot of people do it. A lot of people blow their double jump when they get freaked out, even really good players. It happens. But uh, Meek not in nearly as bad of a situation as he was the first game, obviously. He's done a ton of damage as opposed to none. He can absolutely find a kill really fast here, and even if he can't, uh, if he falls behind a little bit in percentage, you know, Falcon can bring that back really fast, kill really early to make it worth something. Yeah. 
right now. Narrow though. Nice making it back on the stage. And, uh, yeah, you're going to put him off. <laughs> Ooh, not going to space that forward air correct to hit the up B. Yeah, narrow kind of uh, putting him to spot here, trying to find out a way to seal the stock up. Retreating fair coming out of Nero on his uh, main shield. Nero's left pressure. It's, just, it, it's so good to begin mm -hmm. with. Against Falcon, I mean, it's just like, you got to feel bad for me. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be experiencing this. No, it's really, uh, like I said, a really potent matchup. <laughs> what we really need to talk about right now is Nero Zelda. Oh, yeah, that was pretty clean. <laughs> Nero Zelda. That was pretty clean against Goof. All I'm saying is uh, that, that Zelda doesn't have a single win, a single game win on uh, oh. <laughs> my King DDD. Great Falcon kick out of the corner. Meek famous yeah, for that option. Not? Famous for it not working out for him, too, though, so I'm glad he managed to take the stock with that one. Mm -hmm, definitely. Against yeah. great like Pikachu yeah, and uh, those percents. He was playing that first stock really well as far as the low options were. Now, I don't believe he's using them quite as much. He went for a couple of dash grabs there that we're just going to point out with. Oh, that up tilt. This is such a bad spot. Mm-hmm. I like that he just jumped away. He didn't air dodge, try to attack down. He just got yeah. out of there. He knew Nero was just going to wait for the He's just like, silly. disengage, get out of here. Disengage. Uh, <laughs> Hit the eject button. All right, Meek is going to find himself back on the stage now. He's not in that situation all pressure anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this is the thing. He has such a hard time in the neutral against Pikachu that he just gets put right back into that situation again, and now it's an easy kill opportunity. No. Nope. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to get the force smash this time. That down air, really. That was interesting. You're not going to take that. Who went for the forwarder off the missed tech? Just barely out of his range. Yeah, maybe, you know, calculating. Meek just looking for something crazy right now. In the upper knee, is that a thing right now? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Nero, you know, plays a light, flowy character. He's going to get he's gonna get thrown or whatever. He's just going to get out of there. He's not going to fall for any Falcon ledge shenanigans like yeah, he a lot of want to. lower level players would. But down throw. The knee, knee oh. with a soft knee. That is, that, that is heartbreaking right there. Heart-wrenching for you, man. Meek. That was exactly what he needed. It was very close. I like to go for up smash there. Uh, President got side B. Yeah, side that B. Could have been on purpose. Please, I don't think so. But School gonna get jabbed for it. <laughs> You're off the stage. Meek wants to do that backer. I don't agree with him. Put himself in the ledge like that. And then dash tag. Poor we'll seal it I. I don't yeah. think it was a good idea for him to go for that back here to seal that stock. Nero was so far out of his range, and he just put himself in such a that risk reward really wasn't worth it. Put himself in such a bad situation to get killed. No, definitely a poor option for Meek. But this is definitely like a matchup inexperience. For those type of options, yeah. First off, letting go to Smashville was a poor choice because uh, Pikachu's best stages are Smashville and Lilat. So I feel like they probably just agreed to it. He might not have put any thought into it. Yeah, because it's typical to start though. But I mean, would it be better on FD? Honestly, Falcon already has such a hard time with Pikachu's incredible combo game. No, that's why I said something like Battlefield. I, I would definitely try to like ban towards Battlefield. If not, like I'd much rather take FD. The ground hitbox of Dare One is activatable frame one. Rip Meek down till oh down till is what we're talking about. Down oh, okay. till okay. You put my name in? You're Leave a jerk. Me it's because you came in so soon. <laughs> you came in mid match? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyways. We're back on Battlefield again. I think this is still probably the best pitch, the best pick. Rune says this matchup might not be as bad as it used to be proclaimed. Uh, I can see why, probably. I mean, Falcon does have, you know, Falcon has tools to deal with Pikachu more than you would initially think, but they're still just. It's still such a struggle, at least like at this level, you know what I mean? Away from such a high level. 6'4? Uh, I can agree to that. It's like 6'4 and Pikachu or 55 45 Pikachu. I mean, it's not like a, like a huge advantage for Pikachu, you know what I mean? But yeah. it's definitely there. Ooh, that was such a good conversion with that up smash. Nero's, Nero's just awareness is so incredible for when he can go for stuff like Thunder and Connect. It's 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 so impressive. Meek wanted that knee, he wanted to sell the stock fast. He does not want to fall behind. Again, looking at the second game where he's not too far behind in this next stock, but I mean, it's all about can he not take all that damage build up. Oh, yep. the back there. Right now, oh. yeah, that's going to be unfortunate. It, it looks like. Okay. Um, so Meek basically went to go challenge Nero offstage. It's probably one of the dumbest things you want to do against the Pikachu, especially as Falcon with such a gimbal recovery. He was just and, he was uh, desperate to find that kill. Yeah, he wanted to take the stock. It was the. That's uh, what he wanted, that's what he was looking for. I got to head out there now, I yep, think. Yep, good so luck to you. I'm going to go do that. 